Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Stocks rose Tuesday as Wall Street looked past tightening COVID policies in China to instead focus on a host of strong earnings reports and the potential for smaller future rate hikes during a holiday shortened trading week. There's confusion coming out of China also in regards to COVID. China saw its first deaths in the mainland from COVID since May over the weekend, prompting fears amongst investors that the country could bring back restrictions meant to slow the virus spreading. Against this, just a week ago, the country began to ease some of the tight COVID measures on its way to a looser policy. Investors also weighed comments from Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester, who said recent inflation data is promising and that she'd support reduced interest rate hikes going forward. This could mean that the Fed gets to its terminal rate between 4 to 5% sooner rather than later. Overnight, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 1.18%, the S&P rose 1.36% and the Nasdaq rose the same. Stocks were helped by easing bond yields as investors' attention turned towards 2023. US retailers remained the best performers post encouraging earnings results. Overnight, Best Buy was up 12%, Abercrombie and French up 20%, Ralph Lauren, Bath and Body Works all outperformed their benchmarks which is not quite the same rhetoric we saw on the ASX yesterday, with Best and Less down 13% on a poor earnings result. On the flip side, Zoom fell 5.5% and Dollar Tree slipped around 9% after reporting disappointing earnings and a lower than expected outlook. Elon Musk says he's done also laying off people at Twitter after the latest round of cuts yesterday. But worries persist about everything from data security security to the platform's ability to moderate content after he sliced through the workforce. Musk laid off sales staff, but at an employee meeting said he wasn't planning any more job cuts. Even so, worries persist about Twitter's ability to function since he's got rid of about half of its 7,500 employees and another 1,200 more resigned. Advertisers continue to pause their use of the service despite Musk's attempts to alleviate their concerns since his takeover and rival tech firms are looking to poach disgruntled staff. Despite the shrinking of Twitter, surprisingly the share price is on year-to-date highs. Across the sectors overnight, the market is seeing broad strength with just a few pockets of weakness. In aftermarket news, Hewlett Packard has announced its plans to lay off between 4,000 to 6,000 employees globally over the next three years. This continues a trend of layoffs beyond just Twitter that has been sweeping in the tech, sweeping the tech sector, including big names like Meta, Amazon, Shopify and Netflix. The widespread downsizing has been driven by a hiring spree during the pandemic lockdown and the concerning economic headwinds ahead. For investors, it means that tech, investing in tech, has become more difficult than it used to be. In commodity news, iron ore prices are gathering pace primarily due to China's efforts to stimulate the economy, along with the relaxation of some of the strict COVID measures that have impacted growth this year. Additionally, there is optimism that steel-intensive sectors, such as construction and infrastructure, will accelerate next year. On the SPY futures overnight, we're pointing to a 0.9% gain on the market here today. This is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Have a great day.